Welcome aboard Alex's Animal Ark. My name is Alex and I will be your guide to all the amazing animals that live on our planet. Today we will be learning about the axolotl. So what exactly is an axolotl? To start with, they're a type of salamander that doesn't go through the metamorphosis that most amphibians go through when they become adults. They can reach lengths of 6 to 18 inches and weigh between 2 and 8 ounces. They typically live about 10 to 15 years. Their heads are flat and wide with eyes without eyelids. Their legs are underdeveloped with really long digits. They also have characteristics of salamanders in the larval stage, such as a tail fin and a body fin. Axolotls do develop lungs, but they mainly rely on their feathery external gills to breathe underwater, though sometimes they come up to the surface to breathe in air. They also have vestigial teeth, but their main method of feeding is to close their gills and suction up their prey. Axolotls in the wild are typically tan and brown, with speckles and an olive underbelly. However, they can have mutations in their color genes, which can lead to many interesting colorings, including leucistic, which is pink coloring with black eyes, golden albino, which is gold coloring with gold eyes, Xanthic, which is gray coloring with black eyes, albino, which is pale pink or white coloring with pink eyes, and melanoid or melanistic, which is all black coloring. So where can you find axolotls? They are typically found in Stillwater lakes in Mexico. Their range is now only in the canals of Lake Xochimilco. They also used to be found in Lake Chalco, but that lake has been drained for flood prevention measures and no longer exists. So what are some axolotl behavior? During the day, axolotls will bury themselves in mud or thick vegetation to avoid being eaten by larger fish like tilapia or herons and storks. At night is when they are most active and hungry. They are effective predators, using smell to locate their prey and using suction to gulp it up. Axolotls will eat almost anything they can suction up, including but not limited to worms, mollusks, crustaceans, insect larvae, tadpoles, and even small fish. The breeding season occurs between March and June. During the mating ritual, the, female, the male and female do a mating dance, and eventually the eggs become fertilized. The females can carry between 300 to 1,000 eggs, and she usually lays them in hidden places so that some of the babies can survive. Two weeks later, the babies hatch and are off into the world, where they may or may not grow into adults. And now, here are some axolotl fun facts. They are related to tiger salamanders. They can slightly change their skin hue lighter or darker for camouflage. They have the ability to regenerate almost every part of their bodies, including parts of their brain. They may be up to a thousand times more resistant to cancer than mammals. They lack the thyroid-stimulating hormone that most other amphibians possess that helps them develop into adults that live on land. So axolotls look like immature amphibians, even though they are adults. They, they can go through this metamorphosis that other amphibians go through if they are exposed to the hormone through an external source. However, this could end badly if not done correctly, so it's not recommended if you have one as a pet. An axolotl is featured on the Mexican 50 peso note. The word axolotl comes from the, the Nahuatl language of the Aztecs and means water dog. This name came about from the myth of, of the god Xolotl, who was the Aztec god of twilight, twins, monstrosities, misfortunes, sickness, and deformities, as well as a god of fire and lightning. He is a soul guide to the land of the dead and is typically depicted as a dog-headed man. In this myth, the fifth sun, which is the world we are living on currently, was created by the Aztec gods, and the gods wanted to create humanity, but they could only accomplish this by having some of them sacrifice themselves. However, Shalotl did not want to be sacrificed, so he used his shape-shifting abilities to become several types of plants before becoming an axolotl, but he was still caught and sacrificed anyways. However, this worked out for him in the end because he now gets to help lead the sun through the land of the dead 
to help the son be reborn every day. His name is also where the name of the Mexican hairless dog, affectionately called the Sholo, comes from. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed it and want to hear more, feel free to subscribe to Alex's Animal Arc on YouTube or subscribe on Spotify, Deezer, TuneIn, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts, Overcast, Castro, CastBox, Podfriend, and iHeartRadio. Feel free to like and follow the Alex's Animal Arc Facebook page and visit my website by following the link in the description. If there is an animal you'd like to hear me cover, please email your name and the animal you want to hear about to the email in the description and I will add it to the list. Or feel free to leave a comment on YouTube or on the Facebook page with an animal you'd like to hear about if that makes you feel more comfortable. Thank you for coming on this animal adventure. I will see you all again for the next voyage when we learn about the black-footed ferret. 